All right, joining me right now is AccuWeather Lead Hurricane expert Alex De Silva as we continue to dissect our tropical system uh, in the uh, Gulf of Mexico or in the Bay of Campeche. And uh, Alex, as we take a look and we'll, uh, we'll get right to the uh, satellite picture here, tell me what you see here on the infrared satellite. Well, right now I see a pretty disorganized system. This tropical rainstorm moved over the Bay of Campeche yesterday. It has started to organize a little bit, but you can see we're not really seeing the big blow up of thunderstorms right around the center of circulation. That's how we really get an intensifying storm. The storm is what we call not vertically stacked. So the low level circulation down near the surface is in one area and the mid level circulation is a little bit off to the east. You really need that vertically stacked nature to get strengthening. And, and the one thing I notice, Alex, right now, everything's on the eastern side, not necessarily under the center, and on the western side, virtually cloudless, and I'm sure that dry air that's been persistent in that area the last day or two is certainly having an impact as well. It's certainly having an impact. We're still dealing with a little bit of wind shear in the Bay of Campeche here. While it is decreasing, there is still a little bit there. And what that's doing is it's sucking in or forcing that dry air into the center of the storm right now. So it is being choked off a little bit and it's struggling right now. But I do think that with time, that, that wind shear is going to continue to decrease. You can see a little bit of a pocket there in mm -hmm. the Bay of Campeche there of low wind shear. I think that's going to just grow here over the next 24 to 36 hours. It should give this storm a little bit of a window here to gain organization before moving inland. You know, let's talk about wind shear a little bit. It may be a concept that may sound a little confusing. And we're always talking about the storm being vertically stacked. You yeah. just mentioned that earlier. And it's all because of wind shear. That's the key here. Yeah, it is. And I always like to think of it kind of like a stack of pancakes. So think of each one of these rings as a stack of pancakes. Now, the tropical system, they like to strengthen and essentially stand vertically stacked. So those pancakes are vertically stacked. They're not flopping over onto the floor. Now, when you get a lot of wind shear, it can disrupt that uh, circulation and those stacks of pancakes essentially flop over onto the floor. And so that's what the, what the hurricanes don't like. They don't like to have a circulation where it's not vertically stacked because they cannot strengthen that way. So for this system here, we need the wind shear to decrease and then the system will become more vertically stacked, um, which will then lead to more organization. When do we think, when are you projecting that this becomes a tropical storm, Alex? I mean, it could happen as early as late this afternoon, if not tomorrow. The wind speeds are there. Right now, we're dealing with wind speeds of around 40 miles per hour, which is strong enough to classify this as a tropical storm. The only real piece that's missing right now is that organization. The storm needs to become vertically stacked uh, in order for it to be classified as a tropical storm. So like I said, could happen anywhere uh, within the next 24 hours, I think. Let's get to where this is going. I have the upper air pattern here and you can see that big upper high. That arrow drawn here is that, well, you're going to see the upper high start to shift to the northeast, but Alex, it kind of strengthens and this high, in a sense, exerts its force on this tropical system. It sure does. This is the high that's responsible for all the heat yeah. in the Midwest and into the Northeast. There's a tropical connection with this thing. So big, uh, big clockwise spin around the high, and then you have your tropical system coming up from the south. That is going to cause uh, pretty strong winds there over the Gulf of Mexico and actually an onshore push of winds uh, and rough surf along the Texas and Louisiana coast here throughout the week as the system begins to slowly move north and then make a hard turn to the left here over the next couple of days. AccuWeather lead hurricane expert Alex Da Silva. Thanks, Alex, for joining us. We'll talk to you a little later on this morning.